It's John coming to you from dropdeadcopy.com. I'm the autoresponder guy, and today we're gonna talk about what is marketing. Okay, now most people, especially when they get online, they seem to end up thinking that marketing is something that it's not, especially when it comes to copywriting. Okay, I'm a copywriter, and this people make this mistake all the time. They think marketing is about bullet points, okay? Guarantees, you know, like a money back guarantee, or headlines, you know, we all wanna have a catchy headline. Yeah, maybe it's about a product. Or well, people might say something like, you know, marketing is the process of connecting the user, so the, the you know the prospect or the customer with your product. You know, and that's that's kind of it. But that doesn't really that doesn't do it for me because it doesn't really sum up what marketing is, and it doesn't really make it very actionable because you can't really talk about that. Okay. Now, I think what marketing is. Well, hang on, we're going on a bit of an adventure here. I'm walking through a, a place in Thailand. So I'll just take it, we'll jump across here. Okay. All right, back to marketing. So it's not very actionable when you talk about uh, tactics and those kind of things. Tactics can be useful, but they miss the point. Okay. So what is marketing? Marketing, I find it, I believe at a fun, very fundamental level, at the most basic level, marketing is about empathy. Okay. It's about understanding and being absolutely in touch with what your prospect and what your marketplace wants. Okay, so marketing is an amazing thing. It's not a bad thing, it's not sleazy. Uh, it, it's not about selling people stuff they don't need. It's about having an intimate understanding of who they are, of what they want, of what goals they have, and then carefully matching a product that's gonna meet their goals. So as a marketer, you and I, we're tasked with something really important. You know, it's our duty not to sell stuff that no one needs. It's our duty to help people reach their goals. And how we do that is through innovative products and services. Okay, so how does this how does this apply when you uh, you know when you go out and you have a product? It might be an ebook that you want to sell. It might be a physical product like uh, furniture, cat furniture, or uh, you know or something something else. Okay, so how do you apply this idea of empathy? Well, what most people might do is they would sit down to write a sales page, write a landing page, and they're going to think, well, what's a catchy headline? You know, I need some bullet points. How about this? I'm just going to fill this page with benefits. You know, copywriters, and ones that seem to have a good reputation too, they seem to say this all the time. Fill the page with benefits. Benefits, benefits, benefits. But, you know, I totally believe in benefits. But, the point, it's missing the point to just say benefits, okay? Because different people are going to care about different benefits. So, you might fill the page with benefits, but those benefits might be something that these people don't care about, okay? So you want to choose, you want to have enough empathy. This is where empathy is important. You want to have enough, you want to have enough empathy with your audience that instead of just filling the page with countless benefits that they don't actually give a, give a damn about, you fill it with benefits that connect with the exact, uh, you know, the exact thing that their soul is searching for to make a thing. Okay? So you might have, let's suppose you have at least the 10 benefits of your product. Your prospect, your target market that you're going for may only care about one or two of those benefits. So if you, if you spend half the page talking about the eight other benefits, you've wasted half the page. Now, this is absolutely where empathy is important. It's the same with headlines. You don't want a catchy headline. Forget about catchy headlines. You want a headline that gets the attention of your target prospect, period. Okay? You don't want the attention of other, of other people. And this is why empathy is important. Okay? I'm not sure if I've explained this, is this too well. This is a little bit rushed. But this is a kind of a basic attempt to explain why empathy matters, why marketing is empathy, and, and really how you can electrify your copy, your websites, and your marketing by truly understanding what your marketplace and what your prospect wants. And just for a little bit of trivia, I know Ramis Sethi of IWillTeachYouToBeRich.com, the uh, personal finance blogger, I know, uh, he's mentioned in a podcast before, that before, uh, before he creates a product and starts writing copy, he'll collect 50,000 data points. So he'll spend 50,000, it's insane. He'll spend 50 to 60% of his time researching the market. Okay, it's not about writing copy, it's not about developing the product, it's not about those things, it's about understanding, having an intimate understanding of who that market is. Okay, that's from me, Sethi. Right, if I will teach you to be rich. Okay, so that's it for today, for the uh, Drop Dead Copy video sessions. I'll, uh, like I said, this is John, the autoresponder guy coming to you from dropdeadcopy.com. I'll, uh, I'll see you next time, guys.